after eight events here we are at the ninth and final one of the season and the men standing south africa australia argentina and fiji all in contention to win the overall title of course there was some early disruption that means the defending champions new zealand were never really going to have a chance to retain that title samoa rejoined as well which was great to have those teams back on the series but all the action at the top and the top four And speaking of the top, well, one team who was always there, their fans are ready to roll again. Fiji back in action against the island, Dallin Stanford. Thanks so much, Ricky. That's right. The sports capital of the world, the United States, welcomes you to the HSBC Los Angeles Sevens and Fiji. So well supported around the world. We'll take an island coming up in this brilliant super session. So much drama and excitement to follow. Pool C comes to a collision course here between Fiji and Ireland. 4B5 in the world, both unbeaten so far coming into this game. Flying Fijians feature 4-1 to one in the recent head-to-head, -head, the last five encounters. But anything can happen on match day, and that's why we love this beautiful game. They have played ten times in history. Fiji have won nine times. Ireland just once, but they're loaded with talent, with a ton of brilliant players. Alongside me, it's Madison Hughes, former U.S. Sevens captain. A couple of players to keep your eye on. I mean, on Fiji, we see Jerry Tuai and Wasai Nathungu. They've been so integral for Fiji, both this weekend, but for years now. Such deadly attackers. Uh, and then for Ireland, we've got Jordan Conroy coming back in. Missed the first two games, and his combination with Terry Kennedy, who's on the bench to start, but will presumably be coming in, uh, is going to be very exciting to watch. We started in 2004 here in Los Angeles. We then went to San Diego. Ten years in Las Vegas. We returned to the City of Angels in 2020, and we're finally back here after waiting a year and a half to be back in Hollywood on the West Coast. Fiji anxiously wait their side to come out here to close out day one on this Super Saturday at Dignity Health Sports Park when it's not rugby and it's not Fijian flags. It's the LA Galaxy called this ground home. It's in brilliant condition. Teams ready to take the field. That's Harry McNulty on the right of your screen. And Waisea Nathungu leads out the flying Fijian side. Fiji beating Wales 28 points to 12 and France 29 points to 19. That's how they find their way here. And this team. A lot of new players in Ben Golling's side to start off this season. Finished fourth and ninth and then four podium finishes for them. Ireland meanwhile. Two wins as well against France and a big one against Wales scoring eight tries. Silver medalists in to lose in France. Referee for this clash here, Nick Hogan, 15th match on the series from New Zealand. As is customary to see the sight of Fiji gathering at the halfway line. And now they can start roaring for their team. Two-time gold medal champions, Fiji against Ireland to close out this pool C. Harry McNulty played here with the LA Giltinis in Major League Rugby. He's their tour guide, but he's all business right now as he faces the huge task of Fiji. The HSBC Los Angeles Sevens, you're watching the Super Session. And to top the pool, be one of these sides. Fiji on the right, kicking off to Ireland in green on the left. Played by the Irish. Andrew Smith takes this one. And he's flung to the deck, but a high shot early on. Over here. Okay. Yeah, kickoff didn't look like it was going 10, but Ireland claim it and then get tackled nah, high. So, it, yeah. yeah, choosing to slow the ball down now. Kick for touch, go to the line out uh, and able to set it up. And I think often when the opposition does have one of those short kickoffs, it allows you to just kind of settle the nerves a little bit, get to one of your set piece. There's not that instant competition and frantic nature that sometimes results from a kickoff. Well, Ireland's pool match win over Fiji in Singapore. This was the first win and broke a 22-year winless record, dating back to their first meeting in Paris in 2000. 
When they are patient, they can produce some brilliant things. Inaccurate, though, at the set piece. That's right. Yeah, just that line-out throw drifting to the left shoulder of the, the Irish jumper. Um, gives an easy visual for the referee, and Fiji not really competing that hard at the line-out. So, careless mistake for Ireland, and something you can't afford to have too many of if you're playing against Fiji, who capitalise on every opportunity. Don't forget the, the winner. Stay bound. Yeah. Winner. Stay bound. Yeah. Crouch. Winner plays USA, and the loser plays New Zealand. That's what's at stake for this one here. And the topping Five. of the pool. Good afternoon if you're watching Six. from Fiji. Bola Banaka. It's past 2 a.m. in Ireland. I'm sure we got a few people up as well. Fiji. Early attack for them. They look to go wide. Cut up the middle. Got a little breakout here. The ball's free to Nathungu. He's supersonic. We'll see a Nathungu. is a maverick. Nathungu flies onto it at pace. And you can just hear the roar of the crowd. So many, so many Fijian supporters going nuts, enjoying that moment as Wasaya Nathungu puts the Fijians on the board. He just hits this at such pace, knows exactly where he needs to be to receive that offload. And there are like three or four Irish defenders around there grasping at straws, trying to hold on to his jersey as he flies by them. Kisses his wrist and salutes the heavens. Wasaya Nathungu scored against Wales, France, and now against Ireland. He's 111th try, 7-0. He puts his side. That pass, outrageous from the ground. Nafungu, the police officer at bus station. His wife, Mariana, and sister, Aidy, and brother, Setofano, actively tuning in here, of course, supporting him. Now we got two. So, super subs waiting to come on. More comfortable on that perfect grass for the Fijian side. They're ready to come on as well. Jasua Bakurnavili on the park. Sevaloni Moth and Nathangi, the lamppost, waits to replace him later on in this game. Nathangu, not the best looking kick. Ireland will have a chance to come back. That's two mistakes on the kickoff from Nathangu. Didn't really get uh, didn't really get punished on the first one. We'll see if Ireland can capitalize here. Going to the tap penalty in the middle. Um, presumably a, a tap penalty play they've drawn up, practiced a thousand times, and that's what you want to do, to get yourself on the front foot, get some forward momentum, and get the defense running back. Yeah, let's go. Ireland, to the left they go. Now Comerford, getting above early, Andrew Smith attacks him up the middle. Smith is a hard ball carrier. Roach, looking to spread it wide. Ireland, Aaron O'Sullivan, scored two against Wales. Yeah. Penalty goes the oh, other way to Fiji. Never up. The Irish defender is going straight onto his hands. You can see the visual for the referee was very clear, not supporting his body weight. Um, I think the Irish attacker might argue that the Fijian defender bailed out there, but the referee seeing the visual of him just going straight onto his hands, that's why you've got to stay in control of your body weight. Well, what's at stake here to I win the series? Fiji to need to out. win the yeah. title, have Australia outside the top three, so finish fourth or lower. So different permutations after South Africa crashed out of the cup quarters. South Africa one didn't want to make it easy for us, Pouts. had to make it interesting, bring out the calculators, figure it all out, draw it on Excel spreadsheets, I think. So, fun one this weekend. Six. It really is. Jerry, two out of feet. Only player to be part of Fiji's five successful Hong Kong titles. Great to see him back in the fold. Mathungu shifts it wide. A step up the middle they go. Oh, and Fiji, they're going to cut loose and go the distance. Kamenieli Rasaku is a delight to watch in Fijian colours. Rasaku just spotting that the Irish defence is sliding out. Too worried about the Fijians going around the outside. Hadn't covered their inside step. And here he just steps hard off his left foot, seeing that that Irish defender showing the weak shoulder. Inside trailing defender not able to close the gap and then has the speed to go the distance and stretch this out to a 12-point margin with the conversion to come. Smiling all the way to the try line, Rasaku, dangerous step from the 23-year-old. DHL impact player for round six in Vancouver in a dream team, voted by the fans in round seven for the HSBC side. Two tries to nothing so far for the Flying Fijians. The extra twos added as well, 14-0. Dream start for Fiji and doing exactly what they needed, they've needed to do so, so far in this one. Over the 130 try mark already on day one. 
battered down the air. Mark Roach comes down for Ireland. O'Sullivan can't get three there. It's now Comerford. So Ruck still being attacked here by both sides. It comes to Fiji. The Thungu Chapson goes again. Down to the short side, looking to step back in brilliantly. Support is there, Sauturanga. Oh, that would have been a miracle offload, but just does go forward, and the Irish able to Your scramble and get enough bodies get around it. Counter ruck was all fine. He can't then have a second go to place. Oh, I thought they were all good, but yeah. So the Irish ball carrier, while he was on the ground, Fiji had were counter-rucking, and after that had been going on for a, probably a few seconds. It felt like minutes in, in real time, but the ball carrier on the ground then Counts. tries to roll it back again. You're allowed kind of one quick movement, but not allowed Five. to keep moving the ball uh, back when you're on the ground. Sit! Last play of the first oh, half and pull C. See who tops this one. Down to the outside they go. Aaron O'Sullivan, good ball to Jordan Conroy. Finally, Conroy, he's tripped though. Managed to get up to his feet though and play it. Back on the inside to Comerford. He's been very active in this game, but Ireland yet to score. Harry McNulty under all sorts of pressure. Here's Harry McNulty, personal driver for Greg O'Shea before he became world famous after winning Love Island. Ireland with a big step. Inside their 22 still. James Topping, their head coach. We'll have strong words here at half time. See what their game plan is though. Jordan Conroy loses a cleat. And Fiji pile in, but the giveaway a penalty. You the tackle, you gotta, you're fine, he's got to get out. And Fiji seem to have really identified that the Irish breakdown is an area they can target. They're throwing lots of numbers at, at, numbers at it and getting rewards so far. So the Irish, they're going to have to get lower as that initial man. And if there's no one there, wait for the Fijian to come. And then when he comes, attack him. You can't just sit there waiting to get steamrolled by some of these big Fijians. Oh, and a stunning kick as well from Mark Roach. He bangs it downfield. His younger brother Tom made the series debut in Malaga earlier this year. Yeah. Former jockey, now seven star. Scrum half. Time has elapsed. The last play in the first half. It's knocked down here to Fiji. The Thungu throws it back. Too wide. To the outside. Come Fiji looking to work some more magic. The offloads are there. Rosaku. Jerry Tiwai on the ground, though. Ireland get over this one. Now Comerford. Roach around the fringe. has got Conroy with him. Conroy can't get the offload. So Sullivan sets him up again. Brian Mullen cuts back in field. Jordan Conroy flicks it over the top where McNulty waits. Harry McNulty, flat ball. Looking to get some width to stretch this Fijian defense. And they engage up the middle with Andrew Smith. Lovely offload. Here come Ireland. Brian Mullen just had. Andrew Smith takes on a couple of Fijians himself. Now the green jerseys arrive. Jordan Conroy at a standing start. Gives it away on the outside. Reaching for the line. Aaron O'Sullivan trying to get over the try line. But we're going to check to see if they've gone out. The touch judge's flag did go up there, so he clearly thinks he clearly thinks it was in out of bounds. Um, the player but worth is checking in anyway. Thank you. So it's yeah, clearly see that foot go down, so no try. So good defense from Fiji, and they hold Ireland out here at the break, and it's 14 nothing. It's Fiji leading Ireland. Well, a strong performance there from Fiji in the first half. Keys for Ireland to come back. I mean, they got to have a bit of possession. We saw that in the latter stage of that first half. They did manage to hold on to the ball a little bit more and got close to the Fijian line, but that Fijian scramble defence, they're flooding numbers into the breakdown. So I'd say, firstly, avoid those handling mis mistakes, and then in the breakdown, they've got to be stronger of their ball because Fiji are sending numbers into that break breakdown to try and turn it over. Just some breathing exercises for Ben Gollings and his side. Two tries to nothing, they lead there. They lead this pool seat clash. And Ireland, well, we need to see a bit more of Jordan Conroy and some of those playmakers. 
Absolutely, and I suspect we'll be seeing Terry Kennedy come off the bench at some point, and he's so good at bringing defenders to him, so then Conroy's in a bit more space. Right now, it looks like they're just kind of moving it wide, getting, getting it to Conroy, and then he's getting the ball with two or three Fijian defenders right in front of him. James Topping there, coach. Coach Ireland in two rounds in the 21 series as well. Former Irish winger. Big words for him to spark some magic for his side in the second half. So Los Angeles plays host to the final stop of the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series for the season 2022. And a lot at stake, not just in this tournament, but series title on the line as well. The Fijian fans have come to party here at Dignity Health Sports Park. All different styles are welcome. Home of the LA Galaxy. Seen the event return here to LA in 2020. Won by South Africa in extra time. But Ireland, if they win this, they could top the pool. Don't forget, if you win the pool, you face the United States, the home side, you lose, you face New Zealand. Nick Hogan says we're good to go for the second half. And Billy Dardis hoping to spark some Irish magic. Both sides, 2-0 and oh before coming into this game. Stabs it to 10 metres, looking to come up here. It's a brilliant take from Fiji, and Josefa Talatholo has it. Throws it back to Rasaku. And Rasaku comes in here, and we can go pitch side, though. Head coach Ben Gollings is on the line. Always going off. Ben, are you there, my friend? Uh, hey, how you uh, doing? Brilliant, Ben. Good to see you, man. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, why don't you give us a couple of words? Uh, how do you think that first half went, and what are you looking forward in the second? I think the first half went really well. I think the good thing for us is we kept building the pressure. Um, it's something you've got to keep doing with Ireland. They're a great side who, you know, will take opportunities if we give it to them. And, and that was a pretty important uh, stop right at the end there just to keep them out, to keep it to 40 nil. But uh, turning around this second half now, you know, we've just got to go again. It's, uh, it's reset, that kind of 0-0 zero, zero mentality and, uh, and, and get going. So it was a fantastic take off the kickoff. Just a shame we couldn't uh, build off that. Ben, last question for you. You've got some of the most exciting players in the world. What's the hardest part of your job? <laughs> I think half the time it's selecting them. You know, they're such a fantastic group, um, and, and they really respond. Uh, and it makes selection so much, so much harder than uh, the one would one would imagine. But it, it also is a good problem as well. Thanks so much for your time, Ben. We'll let you get going, get into the coaching role. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers. All right, a yellow card there. We're saying Nathungu goes to the side. You heard there from Ben Gollings, the head coach. So they all play with six for the next two. And here's Ireland's opportunity. They weren't able to get it done against seven Fijians in that first half, even when they built that momentum. So now they've got two minutes here where they can go against six. Here's the chance. If they want to come back, they've got to do it now. So they're opting for a scrum to lock in a few more defenders from this Fijian outfit. The Irish side scored eight tries against Wales. Just Pip France, 14-12. And Ed Kelly on the park as well. Conroy looking left. Are you ready? Time on. Sevaloni Moth and Athangi on the field for the Flying Fijians as well as Dada Speeds. Fourth season as six. Irish Sevens captain. Seven. Their time is now. Seven against six. Ed Kelly goes to Jordan Conroy. Puts his head down, flies it back in the field of play. Beautiful ball to Harry McNulty. He's eaten alive though. Ball still flicked there. Comerford comes flying in and Fiji so aggressive on defense, throwing bodies to the ground. Ed Kelly comes back. They lost 40 or 50 meters, but Harry McNulty has it for Ireland now. Brian Mollett across. Fiji just four up on D. Almost two sweepers back. Now Jerry Tuai joins the line. So McNulty throws it over the top. Now Comerford. Jordan Conroy. Slips out of one. Conroy then sets a contact point over the halfway line. They have numbers. Wide ball from Billy Dardis. It's floated forward, so we'll come back. Wow, what an outstanding passage of defense there from Fiji. They had six players to Ireland seven, and yet they still pushed them about 40 meters back, back down the field. Absolutely incredible. Ireland probably will look at what they did from that attacking scrum and think they should have done a bit more to tie in the Fijians around the scrum before they tried to go wide, giving it to Conroy and just saying, hey, what can you create out of this? It was probably asking a bit too much of him, but they'll have another chance. 
Yeah, we'll look ahead. Just flooding numbers in this breakdown, driving back. And the Irish just falling backwards. I think Fiji, Fiji do still have the six players, so Ireland will have another chance from this scrum. And needs to do a better job of holding in the defenders in these narrow channels so when they move it wide, there is that space. All right, let's see what the Irish can do here. Down by 14. Dallas. Captain Ireland, under 20 as well in the 15 aside game. Now finds himself here in Los Angeles with possession. Seven against six. Kelly across field to Conroy. Jordan Conroy. Might be known as the flash, but the Fijians are shutting him down. Ireland are reload here with Andrew Smith coming across field to Hugo Lennox. Lennox onto the park. McNulty rides the tackle towards the try line. And Harry McNulty fires one in for Ireland. It's a great finish from McNulty, finishing under intense pressure from the Fijian defender. And Ireland do get their try after a period quick, quick, quick. of intense pressure from Fiji and against that yellow card. So they got one try in this yellow card period. We'll see if Dardis can add the sideline conversion to pull it back to a one-score deficit. Big contact coming in as well. They managed to get it wide. And Harry McNulty is the man of the moment so far scoring in the corner still a lot of work to do for this irish side though but they're on the board conversion here curls whoa whoa that's over that's a outstanding kick and it's 14 7 game back on and sinbin offense has cost fiji seven points still they lead by seven good lift as it come down this near side Managed to get up to their feet really well to the Fijian runners. Across they work. Iwani Timbers on the field. Mothanathangi as well. Sevaloni, known as the lamppost. He's that tall. Fiji. So strong and powerful. And they have the finesse as well to go with it. Timba. Across he goes. Mothanathangi. Wide ball whipped there from Umbukayado. <laughs> Lovely couple of steps here from Rasaku. Fiji, Mothana Thangi, the lamppost, the one-handed ball. Here come the flying Fijians. Yuani Temba smashes one in. Temba finishing it off. Oh, what a remark with it. There are so many Fijians just queuing up there to receive those offloads flying onto the ball, knowing exactly where their teammates are going to be. And what a fantastic try that was. Hurdling players as they go. Coming in, Eli Rusaku and Mothanathangi at the end of that one. Great support running from Ioani Temba, the 30-year-old, as his seventh try for his country and extends the lead. And just Fiji do such a good job in those support channels and they seem to know exactly when to arrive and when their supporting players will arrive as the offloader and it's it's absolutely breathtaking to watch and it's so difficult to defend against it is 21 points to seven Fiji the comfortable the victory here will put them in the quarterfinals tomorrow against the United States <laughs> Ireland will face New Zealand if it remains this way take it there from Ed Kelly for Ireland McNulty works his way upfield Big Harry McNulty, photographer in his spare time as well. Ireland across wide. Here's Terry Kennedy. Haven't seen him all game. He's finally on the field. He is their most dangerous attacker. This Irish side. The stab, a kick through from Dardis. It's a clever little play because the Jins had flown up, but it goes into touch. Yeah, Dardis spots the space in the, in wide, but not particularly able to execute, and it didn't look like the wide Irish attackers were ready for that as a threat and flying onto the ball. So, could have worked, didn't quite in this scenario, uh, and that could be Ireland's last chance to get back into this game. Yeah, you're right. Time almost out. There's Filippo Mbukayaro, debut Singapore 2022. We were the last play of this Pool C game. Lovely take at the top of Mbukayaro, loops around. Mai Samoa attacks him on that outside. Ireland, though, pinched this with Kennedy. Good bit of work there for this Irish side. One-handed offload from Trey Mullins. Dummy upfield. Andrew Smith. Smith has got McNulty with him. He's tackled heavily, though. It bounces and rolls forward. That will be the full-time whistle.
and Fiji remain unbeaten in the pool stages. They will go into the quarterfinals as the number one seed from this pool. Ireland will go through as well. Final score in this game. Fiji 21, Ireland 7. So Fiji with...